Okay, uh, here's the um, first set of shoulder tests. The first one is anterior drawer of um, a shoulder and the position is supine uh, or cystic. We're going to be testing for the instability of um, gleno um, uh, humeral joint and uh, we're gonna uh, pull up on the humerus and stabilize the shoulder and if there's any excessive um, sliding forward that indicates that the test is positive. Next we have posterior drawer of the shoulder test and again position is uh, supine or sitting and this time we're gonna uh, press down on the humerus and um, if uh, there's any posterior, if there's if the humerus glides back that indicates that um, the person has instability with the posterior uh, glenohumeral joint of the shoulder and um, next we have uh, uh, um, anterior apprehension test we're testing for anterior um, anterior instability and for anterior apprehension test um, we're gonna um, position is supine we're gonna abduct the shoulder um, 90 degrees in a second let me get the kettle <laughs> Okay. It's tea time after this. Okay, so we're gonna position the supine. We're gonna uh, abduct shoulder ninety degrees, and um, uh, we're gonna we're gonna press down on the humerus on the shoulder and do this, <laughs> and then we're gonna um, lift up the shoulder and uh, do and do uh, the same the same motion. And if the person resists you in any way, that indicates that the test is positive. Uh, next we have... Was positive. That was positive? I think that was positive. <laughs> next we have a um, um, uh, posterior apprehension test. Uh, position is again supine. Uh, this time the person is... I'm going to put... Um, oh, we're testing for posterior instability this time. Um, and uh, I'm going to put her palm on her other shoulder. and. Uh, gonna uh, extend the, uh, I mean flex uh, her shoulder and um, I'm gonna press down and one second um, she's gonna be have to, laying on the edge here so there's gonna be space for the shoulder to go back I'm gonna press down and if the if the shoulder uh, or if the humerus slides posteriorly too much <laughs> just let me, just let me. Mm -hmm. If it slides posteriorly to, um, too much, that indicates that the test is uh, positive. <laughs> okay, uh, next uh, we're going to be doing sulcus test. Uh, position is going to be uh, seated. So, um, um, for sulcus test, uh, we're going we're gonna to press down um, between the uh, lateral acromion and uh, the head of humerus. And if we're gonna not press down, we're gonna pull down. And if the bump between um, the oh, this time we're testing uh, for inferior instability. And so if the gap between uh, lateral acromion and um, the head of the humerus is uh, more than uh, one centimeter, that indicates that the test is uh, positive. Okay. Um, next we have. Um, uh, uh, Allen's AdSense test or AdSense test we're testing for a thoracic outlet um, syndrome position can be either um, seated or standing um, so for um, uh, for AdSense test a uh, person is I'm gonna grab the arm um, I'm gonna extend it 45 degrees and uh, with palm is gonna be facing um, out and I'm gonna locate um, locate the um, radial pulse and I'm gonna um, so the person is gonna uh, raise their head up up a little bit and towards me and they're gonna take a deep breath and hold it and I'm gonna pull the arm back and uh, check the radial pulse and if there's any if the pulse gets um, weak uh, or there's a, it feels like a thread that indicates that the test is positive. Okay, next we have um, Allen's test, uh, also testing for thoracic outlet syndrome. Um, so this time we're gonna uh, a position the sitting or standing. We're gonna raise the hand like this, and the, this time, however, the person uh, will um, uh, turn their head to the right, 
uh, again, we're gonna locate radial pulse and a uh, person's gonna take a deep breath. And okay, so um, again, here we're looking for um, weakened pulse um, and um, the pulse should get stronger as we move it down and should get weaker as we move it up. And a uh, weak pulse indicates that the person has thoracic outlet syndrome. Um, okay, next we got Alan Adson's uh, military brace test, um, also testing for thoracic outlet syndrome. For this one, position can be standing or seated. This one, we're going to be standing because it's easier. Um, uh, I'm going to put the camera up a little bit so we can see the shoulder. Um, so, um, similarly, with the previous tests, uh, um, this time we're going to pull, uh, pull the arm back, locate the radial test, and, but this time we're going to press down on the clavicle um, and uh, feel the pulse. And uh, again, weakened pulse indicates that um, the person has thoracic outlet syndrome. Um, okay, uh, the last one is a Garber liftoff test. Um, for this one, we're testing for um, uh, thoracic uh, nerve damage or um, um, uh, sub, um, subclavian, uh, subclavian damage. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Position is either uh, standing or seated. Um, and um, this time uh, we're gonna be, uh, I'm gonna ask the person to uh, put their, um, with palm facing uh, me, uh, put their uh, hand on uh, their um, lumbar area or even sacral area. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask them to, if they can um, hold their hand right here. Can you? Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna press down on the hand. Okay, and if there's any pain there, that indicates that the test is positive. Um, that's it. Um, those are all nine. Thank you.